Thanks, Howard. And welcome to this short video. So this is a video really about starting to introduce exercise on the recovery path. Now, the first thing I want to say is obviously introducing exercise before the body is ready is completely unhelpful. So I definitely refer you back to videos that we've done around the three stages of recovery. And if you're in stage one, the crash stage, then exercise is definitely not a good idea. If you're in the latter part of stage two, tired and wired, or coming into stage three, the reintegration stage, then exercise may well start to become appropriate. There's definitely a point where if we don't start to bring the energy that's coming back down into our body, what starts to happen is the energy just goes into anxiety. So there is a place we definitely want to start using our body. Now, the way that I tend to explain this to people is when we haven't exercised for a long time and we haven't been using our body for a long time, and if we've got a history of achiever pushing patterns, we don't really know where we stand. We don't know how much exercise we should be doing. And I should say that it's important to be starting off with things that are very gentle, things like yoga, tai chi, chi kung, gentle walking, gentle swimming, if you're someone that, that's a good swimmer. Me doing gentle swimming is frantically not trying not to drown, which is actually quite, <laughs> is quite tiring. Um, but depending upon what, um, what's appropriate for you, starting very gently, and really the kind of headline for this is exercise is a conversation, not a lecture. It's a dialogue. You need to listen to what your body is telling you. And a lot of traditional exercise models are you basically, you know, it's mind over matter. You demand your body to do something. And that's the kind of patterns that we know can cause someone to get sick in the first place. But it's also just really unhelpful when, you're st when you've been getting used to pacing and you want to be able to listen to your body. So another little thing to bear in mind, we know that there's a delayed fatigue response often for people. So you can be fine doing something one day, and you're fine the next day, and then it's the day after, or even the day after that, it has an effect. So if it's a dialogue, if exercise is a conversation, what you want to do is to bounce the boundary. There's not going to be done videos around that. Bounce the boundary. See how you are for a few days afterwards. And if you seem to be fine, you can bounce that same boundary again. What's also helpful is to establish a new baseline before you start pushing it, before you start kind of, you don't want to jump the baseline or bounce the boundary a number of times consistently. You want to find a new level, stabilize there, and then bounce the boundary again. But it's really important that you listen to your body in the process. Of course, it's very exciting when you can start to exercise again, but it's also very tempting, and often those old patterns start to come back in again. So remember, exercise is a dialogue or a conversation, not a lecture.